I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss sign law application. So here is a real life situation. Let us say that you are flying a kite and uh, let's say that's the location of your kite here, right? So that's the location of your kite and you are right there at this point with, uh, let's say you are here and you make an angle of elevation of around let's say 50 degrees with the kite. From the other side, you watch two of your friends approaching and they are like, they also want to share the experience of flying the kite. And um, you notice that one of them is very close, let us say, almost about uh, 12 meters from you, right? So let's say this distance is 12 meters from you and one of the friends, let's call friend A here, okay? And the other friend who is following it has an angle of elevation with the kite of around let us say 35 degrees so let me make the other friend who's just behind let's say that is the second friend B and the friend A has angle of elevation of around let us say uh, let's write 62 degrees and friend B has an angle of elevation of uh, let us say let us say 40 degrees okay now in this situation what you need to find is what is the length of the string and so let us say this length L is required and what is the height of your kite the height H let us say you have to find these parameters from the given situation let's say this point is K to find the height we will drop a perpendicular and let's say this point is P from from there right we can actually extend this question and also you may figure out what is the distance of each friend I mean what is the distance of the other friend uh, from you that, that, that could be uh, extension to this question so let's solve this question so basically you're flying a kite your angle of elevation with the kite is 50 degrees your friend who is approaching you angle of elevation for the kite for your friend is 62 degrees and another friend who is following the angle of elevation is 40 degrees uh, uh, plus for that friend okay now in this situation how are you going to find the length of this kite now a couple of ways one way is you can use the sign law and since we know this is 62 degrees we can find the angle KAL correct so, so let's do angle KAL will be equals to 180 degrees minus 62 degrees. So let's calculate. So we'll use calculator in this question to solve our question. To simplify all these things, so we have angle KAL as 118 degrees. So that is 118 degrees. So we have this angle as 118 degrees. We can find this angle. Actually, you can find this angle from 180 minus these two, or you know this is exterior angle. Since it is exterior angle, angle which is made by the kite and your friend and you is 62 minus 50. So we'll use exterior angle theorem, and we say angle YKA is equals to 62 degrees minus 50 degrees which is 12 degrees correct you could also use 180 minus some of these two you'll get the same answer now you know a combination of angle which is 12 degrees and the side opposite so that can help you to find length of the string correct so since you want to find length of the string we'll put ky on the top so ky the length of the string divided by sine of the angle which is 118 should be equal to known side of 12 meters divided by the angle opposite which is sine of 12. So from here the length which is equals to ky should be equals to 12 times sine of 118 degrees divided by sine of 12 degrees. Right? So let's use the calculator once again. So we have 12 times sine of 118 so I prefer to calculate each individually then divide by 
sine of 12 equals to so we get 50.9 so I'll round this to 51 okay so so we say length is 51 meters correct so it is 50.96 I'm rounding it to 51 meters since the units are meters so we get the length of the string now you need to find the height of the kite kp so to find the height we drop a perpendicular as we have done so and from there since this is right triangle and in this right triangle we know the angle is 50 hypotenuse is 51 right for accuracy you could use 50.96 right so we actually approximated 50.96 let me write like this anyway so we'll round whole numbers this is good enough we can use uh, since we need to find hey, height h so we should use sine opposite over hypotenuse correct so let's use sine and find the height so we can say h or we can say sine of 50 degrees is equals to height over l height over l now so height is equals to l times cross multiply sine of 50 degrees right so that is how you get your equation now we can write down the values 51 meters times sine of 50 degrees correct so that is equal to let's calculate we already have 50.96 i'll use the same value times sine of 50 degrees we get 39.0 so i'll write 39 so the height of the kite h is equal to 39 meters correct so that is how you can simplify uh, and find all these parameters now the question for you is question for you is find distance of uh, distance between the friends right so find distance between friends so let's say what is the distance between a to b let that be the question for you so how are you going to do it now since we know the height we can use tan ratio correct so we can say let us find distance a p first so we can use tan of 62 degrees that is equals to height over a p right so from here we can find a p so we get a p equals to uh, height over tan of 62 so I'm not doing these calculations leaving them for you so that is a p similarly you can find b to p right so we say p b or b to p is will be equals to height over tan of the angle made right so tan of 40 degrees correct you can calculate these two and distance a b will be equals to some of these two distances a p plus b b correct so likewise you can find distance between these two right so that is how you should be solving uh, triangles where sine law could be applied i hope that helps thank you and all the best